Well, not let what me, happened. Let me move on. Partisan man. politics. Sir, you are, you no are a member. Whatsoever in you, my are, work. you are a my member work of the Federalist Society, are you not? And fair. Are you a member of the Federalist Society? I am not a member of the Federalist Society. But you are a Republican, though, aren't you? I am a registered Republican. Yes, sir. And you're doing everything you can do to get President Trump reelected so that you can get appointed as a federal judge or perhaps to another position in the Department of Justice. Isn't that correct? Congressman, I have no such aspirations, I can assure you. And I can tell you that partisan politics had no place whatsoever in my work. It had no place in the, in the investigative steps that I took. It had no place in the decision that I made. And it had no place in a single word of my report. Thank you. you want to be perceived, understandably, as credible. And so I want to first see if you will pledge to not accept an appointment from Donald Trump if he is elected again as president. Congressman, I, I don't, I'm not here to testify Seems like an easy about answer. what will happen it's in the considering future. Considering what I just laid out. I'm here to, te I'm here to talk about the, the report and the work yeah. that went into it. And but you I, don't want to be associated with that guy again, do you? Congressman, I'm not here to offer any opinions about what may or may not happen in the future. I'm here to talk about the work that went into the report, which I stand by. What did that ghostwriter do with the information Joe Biden shared with him on his laptop? What did he do after you were named special counsel? Chairman, if you're referring to the audio recordings that Mr. Zwanitzer created of his conversations with exactly Biden, what I'm referring to, he he, uh, he slid, if I remember correctly, uh, he slid those files into his uh, recycle bin on his computer. Tried to tried to destroy the evidence, didn't he? Correct. And Mr. Her, classified documents were found at the Penn Biden Center. That's correct. They were found in President Biden's garage in Wilmington, Delaware. Yes. And in his basement den. Also in the same home, yes. In the major, in his main floor office? Correct. And his third floor den? Correct. At the University of Delaware? Correct. And at the Biden Institute? Correct. Mr. Hur produced a 345-page report, but in the end, it boils down to a few key facts. Joe Biden kept classified information. Joe Biden failed to properly secure classified information. And Joe Biden shared classified information with people he wasn't supposed to. Joe Biden broke the law, but because he's a forgetful old man who would appear sympathetic to a jury, Mr. Hur chose not to bring charges. Thanks, Creed. What's been the president's reaction so far to the Robert Hur testimony? Uh, I don't have anything to share on that. Like I said, my colleague uh, from the White House Counsel is going to do a gaggle once the uh, once the hearing wraps up. I, 